Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can actually grab information from attachments or files that we upload inside a Smart Suite. Now, this is a pretty exciting new feature. Smart Suite's always been great at handling files and being able to upload them. In fact, if we take a look inside a Smart Suite, we can create multiple different attachments or files and images fields. We could create them for different needs to be able to separate the kinds of files that we're actually uploading. But we haven't been able to historically really understand, well, what files are uploaded or how many files are uploaded. In fact, it can be a little bit confusing if we're trying to use a third-party tool like Make to be able to push data from one system to another to be able to actually understand what changed in the background. So the tools that we have today are going to give us more flexibility and be able to create a better user experience as it comes to handling files and images. So right now I have this attachments field here inside a Smart Suite, and I'm going to create a new formula. Everything we're doing today is really focused around formulas. And this is just going to do kind of the most basic thing with attachments, which is to say, and we'll call this attachment names or file names, I suppose we could call it. In this, you'll now see that attachments is available to be used inside of formulas. If we use it just as is, just the attachments field, then when we add it, we're going to see a list of the file names of the documents that we've uploaded. So in this case, I have two files, onboarding.pdf and test1.pdf, and both of those are now displaying. It's just a nice usability thing that instead of seeing the file icons, we can see this as well. But this isn't where it ends. This is really just the beginning. From here, we could add another formula if we wanted to. And we're going to call this one attachment count because we want to see how many different, <laughs> if I can type, how many different attachments that we have here. So this time we could use attachments, but let's just wrap this in count and put in attachments and we add it. And now this field is going to give us a total of two attachments. So if we were to add another file here, and let's put in our test PDF2 and upload this. And it might take a minute or so here to be able to update, but once we have that third file, we see the attachment count has updated to three. Our attachment names have updated as well. So this is something where you could run an automation on this potentially. You could say, once I hit a certain number of files, Let's go ahead and kick off an integration. Now, this is a pretty big deal. I was doing some client work uh, with a particular client who wanted to take attachments we had in Smart Suite, and we wanted to back them up for archiving historic purposes. They were important files. We wanted to make sure that they wouldn't get lost if something were to happen to them. And in that process, we could never actually run an update of the record. If you add attachments, it's not added as, a, as an update to this form submission or a contact record. So there was really no way to track a change to that field. So to be able to support that, now we can say, oh, well, if the attachment count is three or if it's greater than zero, do X, Y, Z. So this is going to be helpful, I think, both in integrations and in automations if we want to use that field. And another thing I want to show you here is that we could add one more formula. And this could be maybe we want a specific type of file uploaded. And so maybe we call this, um, you know, onboarding file. Did they upload the onboarding file? So many of you have specific attachments and they have a certain naming convention that every single time you call this their onboarding file. And in this case, what I want to do is we could wrap a contains to see if the file name contains this onboarding. And so we'll say contains attachments and we'll put in the string we're looking for, which is onboarding. And we'll say, have they uploaded the onboarding file? And it, in fact, is yes. So it returns this check mark. So if you're using this to see, has someone actually uploaded this file? In the past, we would just have to manually look and check and see if someone had uploaded that. But now we've got a way to be able to test it. So maybe you want to create an automation and say, hey, if you're doing client onboarding and they haven't onboarded, they, you know, this is no, they haven't onboarded, they don't have an onboarding file within two weeks, then send them an email notification for them to submit that file. So many possibilities of what we can do here with attachments. So I hope this is something that you can at least envision a world of where this will make your life easier when it comes to managing files. 
Now, if you have any questions in getting up and started with SmartSuite, feel free to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com, where we're offering a free 30-minute consultation.